Good evening, everybody. This is, I guess, a bonus edition of Coffee with the Preacher, except I'm not drinking coffee this hour of evening. Big glass of ice water instead. Um, wanted to, you know, come on Facebook Live for a few minutes tonight to address something I just saw a few minutes ago. Um, I saw that a federal judge had struck down the governor's order that churches be closed. And um, I felt like I needed to address that, sort of what that meant and doesn't mean for our local churches. What that means is this, the, the judge's order is simply a statement about constitutional law. It's simply a statement of constitutional law. He's reading the constitution that the governor doesn't have the authority to say when churches will be closed. The judge's order staying the governor's decree does not do anything for our local churches to open them or close them, just as the governor doesn't have authority on when a church is open or closed, according to the judge. The judge doesn't have the authority to open a church. Um, the decision about when churches are open is a matter of that local church and in our system as united methodist it's not just each local church but each local church um together as a conference we receive con um, guidance from our conference office and so don't if if you're reading this and you're thinking that all of our churches will be open tomorrow um that would be badly mistaken that would be um that would be badly mistaken. Most churches will be closed tomorrow. Um, ours will be, and we'll be online, worshiping online for a, for a good while yet to come. Again, the judge's order is a matter of constitutional law. It's not a matter of, it's not saying the churches should be open. It's not a statement that it's wise for them to be open or that is good policy or good health policy or anything like that is a statement of constitutional law. Um, I'm not a constitutional lawyer, never went to law school. It makes sense to me, but again, I'm not a constitutional lawyer. For us, in our local churches, I suspect that the judge's ruling really will not make any difference at all. <clears throat> the vast majority of our local churches, I imagine, will still be closed tomorrow and for a little while yet to come. And that, and that's simply because, as a matter of public health, it's the smart thing to do. As a matter of public health, it's the smarter thing to do for our churches to remain closed. And so ours will be, and in our case, as United Methodists, um, our guidance from the conference office has suggested that. So we will follow that guidance and within the coming few days be offering um, what our long-term plan is for getting back into worship. And we will do our thing, which um, reflects best the guidance from our local health department and um, following what our conference has said to reopen our churches safely Again, the judge's ruling is not a matter of whether churches should be open, but it's a matter of constitutional law. And so if, if you're curious about whether your church will be open, contact your pastor. Don't just show up tomorrow morning, because I'm certain that most of them will be closed. Um, they will, we will be closed and we'll be worshiping online. And I hope that all of you will choose to tune in tomorrow morning to worship with us on Facebook Live on the Fellowship United Methodist Church Facebook page. And one more thing to mention, churches may be closed for for you know, face to face public worship. That does not mean that the gospel isn't being preached. That does not mean that worship does not take place. There are a number of different ways that you know, people can worship without being gathered face to face in the building. 
there are all sorts of different ways that the gospel that the gospel can be proclaimed without being in the church on a Sunday morning. So, online, Facebook Live, as we were doing, is one really good way to do that. Some churches are doing drive-in church, you know, people spread out. That is another good way to do it if you if you can do that logistically. Um, but just because you you cannot be in your church on Sunday morning does not mean you are not worshiping and cannot worship. It does not stop you from being the church. It does not stop the gospel from being proclaimed. Remember, the church is not the building. It never has been. The church is the body of Christ, and it always has been and always will be. The church is the body of Christ. And the body of Christ exists no matter what, no matter what is happening with the church. So we will gather with our local United Methodist churches, worshiping on Facebook Live tomorrow morning just as we have been because this, it's the smart thing to do. It's the smart thing to do. And over the next number of weeks, couple of months, we'll be gradually reopening things because it's the smart thing to do and the prudent thing to do and we will follow what the health department says what our conference says um not necessarily what the governor says or what a federal judge says we're going to do what we need to do to keep our people safe and at the same time proclaim the gospel of jesus christ I hope you all have a great rest of your evening and that you will worship with us on Facebook Live tomorrow morning or at your own or through your own local church however they do it. Have a great day.